Hey everyone, Dan from One Man Book Club with Where the Lost Wander by the amazing Amy Harmon. I'm not necessarily Amy Harmon's target demographic. In fact, I mentioned that on Facebook and she commented and she said, well, Dan, I don't know who my demographic is, but maybe it is you. Well, I don't know about that because there's a lot of really passionate female fans that love Amy Harmon's love stories. So that's why I say I'm not necessarily her target demographic, but I sure enjoy a good story. And Amy Harmon tells really, really great stories. My first experience with her was with the first girl child and the second blind son, which were her first efforts into fantasy because she was kind enough to leave her comfort zone to come into mine. That's how she hooked me. And now Amy Harmon's got me reading these girly books with swirly girl writing superimposed over this beautiful scenic view of covered wagons. No swords or robots or spaceships or wizards in sight. Sneaky Amy Harmon, very sneaky. Hook me with a gateway genre and then push the harder stuff on me when I'm too weak to turn it down. <laughs> now, <clears throat> of course, you who follow me and my readers, you know that I'm not nearly that shallow. I'm actually a very well-rounded reader, but I did want to il illustrate this point. Amy Harmon is doing a really, really great job writing on the edge of one genre I generally avoid, romance, and I keep wanting more. Where the Lost Wander is historical fiction. The story follows a wagon train of fictional characters as they travel the Oregon Trail in search of a new life. Along the way, the fictional characters meet all kinds of historical characters in context. The story is so well written with the fiction, it's hard to tell where one ends and the other begins. And I'm a sucker for stuff like that. And I thought it was a really, really cool part of Where the Lost Wander. Native American chiefs, real frontiersmen, actual geographic locations along the trail. It's all there. It's really cool. It's really, really great. And I enjoyed that part of the book a lot. A couple of the fictional characters fall in love along the way, and their love story is exactly the kind of slow burn, big finale event I learned that I should always expect from Amy Harmon. I enjoyed this part of the story too, although personally I like my love stories more as a side dish than the main course, but still, the story is fantastic. Spoiler alert, but not really spoiler, because we've all played the video game Oregon Trail. Traveling the Oregon Trail it was miserable. It's a terrible, terrible experience. And the stories um, about what happened on the Oregon Trail just really pull at heartstrings. So this story uses that misery to manipulate the emotion I felt towards the romantic relationship. Well played, Amy Harmon, but dang, these characters experience some really, really sad stuff. I'm firmly in the camp that the best stories, um, that, that in the best stories, the high has to be equal to the low. And if the height of the high doesn't at least match the depth of the low, then the story is more depressing then it is uplifting, and I'm not quite as satisfied when I turn the final page. I felt like the highs and the lows in Where the Lost Wander were out of whack. And so when I f turned the last page, I was actually feeling a little down instead of up. But that doesn't change the power of the story. And this was a great one. It's been days, and I'm still thinking about it. And I'm looking forward to dipping my toes into something else from Amy Harmon in, uh, one day soon, maybe from Sand and Ash. I hear that's a good one, especially because I already have that one in my library. Now, there are no language concerns in Where the Lost Wander. There is some non-gratuitous sexual content, not the rated R kind, more like strong PG-13 kind, although there is a strong rape scene that may be a trigger for some people. There's violence and some really, really sad and hard things happen to the main character. So I will say that this story is best for brave 16 year olds and up. I think you're gonna enjoy Where the Lost Wander, especially if it's not your typical uh, go-to genre. Give it a try. Happy reading, everyone.